This is a quick tutorial of MP Lab IPE. This is integrated programming environment, not the development environment. This is used to flash hex files to the ghost LED sequencer. Make sure that in the device area you have selected the following device. The text will be provided in the video description. If you don't see anything in the tool drop down, it's because the USB is likely not connected to the computer. Go ahead and plug in the Picket 3 now. You'll see a pop-up regarding voltages. This is just confirming that the Picket is what you say it is. Go ahead and click OK. Once it finishes, you'll sometimes see this error, basically meaning it can't detect a sequencer on the other end. One way to power it is to go up here into advanced mode, type in the password provided on the screen, log in, select the power tab on the left, and check this box. This will power the sequencer from the Picket 3. This is one alternative to providing 12 volt power to it just to reprogram the unit. Now I've run into issues after changing the setting, so what I like to do is disconnect the picket from the computer and plug it back in. Once it reconnects to the computer, you can go ahead and locate your hex file. Select the hex file that you want to flash to the LED sequencer. You don't want to forget to click the connect button to reconnect the picket to the computer. Click OK on the voltage warning again. You'll see now it is successful in detecting a sequencer on the other side. Now you can click program to flash your sequencer. If it fails for any reason, double check that the pins have good connection with the LED sequencer and that pin 1 is lined up with pin 1 on both ends. On the picket it will be designated by an arrow and on the LED sequencer the pin will be surrounded by a square. If you run into any other problems, please contact us at support at ghostlighting.com.